go. Both my tanks are ready for fry. Uh, picking them up tomorrow, Thursday. So, use the other tank. Hopefully, all things should go well. These big filters down here will be uh, switched off for a while. Um, I've got some sponge boots to go over these, so that if I do have to turn them on, I shouldn't suck the uh, on that one. And there's another couple of the other tank. Uh, I shouldn't um, suck the fry up. And uh, I will be using those as my siphons to do water changes. I've got taps on these returns now on both this one and this one. Try and make my life easy. So there you go. I've got some brine shrimp on the go. Hopefully, um, they'll hatch for when I get the even. put them up on that shelf and put a lamp on them but um, I've been toying with trying to do it a bit better so I decided to dangle them into the uh, tanks the tanks will be uh, at a good temperature they always used to get cold up there at night so the tanks will maintain the temperature. Um, I've got the tank set on 20 degrees C at the moment, but uh, that temperature will probably be turned up after they've settled in. Uh, I usually run 24. Um, and um, so they require plenty of agitation, keep them uh, suspended, and plenty of air and a bit of salt and uh, they should hatch and uh, so they're getting um, they're being kept warm by the aquarium water and the aquarium lights will um, keep them lit up and at the moment I'm keeping the lights on 24-7 which uh, when the fish was in here, I, I didn't. I used to uh, give them a really long daytime, if you like, into the evening, all through the winter, just to extend their time. But um, for the fry, they're going to be left on 24-7 for a good while. And try and keep their food going so they don't eat each other. But we shall see. I was quite successful last year. See how I do this year. Could lose the lot. Who knows? It's a uh, luck of a game. But it's all ready. All ready for tomorrow afternoon when I get home with them. Bye for now. Hi. Tony from Farmore Koi. Today, um... Oh, I'm quite excited. Mind you, this is a 69 year old getting excited. But I am. I'm really excited. I'm going off uh, this morning to um, New Forest Koi to pick something up, which would be nice. Really been looking forward to this. Catch you later. Uh, 
all the excitement of getting the fry and uh, three new fish. Uh, you know, I, I, I can't forget, I mustn't forget, Will's Koi again, because guess what's come in the post? Yeah, I'll turn you around and show you. Da 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 So Vince, like I said the other day, I've got one as well, a really nice chap, so go over to his channel and sub him, yeah, he's such a nice chap, he's got over a hundred now, I can't remember what it is, but a hundred and a few, but uh, you always have a few more can't you, so go over to you know, and uh, give him a sub and a like and a share. Look at that. So there you go. It was cool. We've got a lot of froth on the water. I'm not sure whether my fish haven't been being naughty in the warmer. Forever. There you go. Well, here we are. Back at New Forest Koi. It's great. and flip to the um, snow mode. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, lovely, thank you very much. So how many boxes do you think you sent out this morning then? How many boxes do you think you sent out this morning? Two boxes going out in a minute, there's still two more to look in. So the crew is limited, about 30 boxes, we don't have Thank you. 
Uh, we got busier to get COVID because the previous 18 months we've ever known. So many people have been killed Yeah, something to do while we're a bit So yeah, everything just run online and could be a little bit out of it. Fantastic, aren't they? They like the big jack we have home there's some homebred fish in there and some jack fish in there. Yeah. So is that a shower? It's a shower, yeah. It's a homebred shower, homebred jacku, homebred crasher boy. I have difficulty sometimes between shower and sankey. I mean I know shower is meant to start off black and it's, yeah, it's black and, and, it's and uh, sankey is white and but uh, so that, that crash over there's 80, maybe 85, 7 meter now. Massive, isn't it? That's six year old one that was right here. Lovely. What's in the box, I hear you say? I've just got back from New Forest Coy. In there. I've got 500 Goshki and Kujaku mixed, or, yeah, uh, and in here I've got 500 mixed fry from all the rest of Ricky's spawnings, so I've got a thousand fry. I've got to just put them into a uh, climatise, so I'll get them out and show you. So, there's the mixed fry. And in this tank we'll be going... Oops, all tripped over. The Goshki Kujaku fry. Just let them acclimatise. I've got a few jobs to do. I've got to put the boots on them. Uh, what not? So I'll get back to you. Hi, Tony from uh, Farm Onkui. I haven't long got back from uh, New Forest Koi, where I've collected some fish. And a great big shout out for New Forest Koi and particularly Ricky. He was really great, really wonderful guy. Um, helped me select some fish and uh, showed me around and uh, and uh, fed some fish and different things. But uh, really great fish. And uh, I've come back with, with some obviously. First and foremost, I went there to collect my uh, fry. Um, I bought a thousand fry, 500 of which are the um, Goshki Kujaku 
special mix, if you like, which uh, we asked him to breed. Uh, so I've got 500 of those, and I've got 500 of everything else he spawned so far. Um, on this occasion, he's going to do another spawn in a bit later on, but um, that'll be me done now. Uh, God, I'm hot in here. I'm sweating like a something or other. I'm sweating more than Prince Andrew. Anyway, uh, he doesn't sweat, does he? Anyway, um, I'll just quickly show you them because they're about to be released. So, I don't know how well you can see them, but they look absolutely wonderful. That's the Goshki um, Kajaku mix. We count them, I don't know. Anyway, and in the other bag, is the mix. a bit of a swish belt. Anyway, I'm going to release them and I'll show you them in the tank. I've missed anybody. That's, that. That's good. I'm going to put the other one in and then I'll show you them in the tank. I'll uh, take you off the troy bottle and show you the tanks. Here they are. There you go. Five seconds flat and they're settled in. Look. I'm going to leave them half an hour or so. And then I'm going to 
Sorry about the reflection, it's just so sunny here at the moment. Shouldn't know. Let them settle in. And uh, I'll uh, come back and feed them. And here's the other tank. Pooping some of that grime trout has hatched. Actually, it looks nice and pink, so that's usually a good indication that it has. So, anyway, get back to it. I've got another chore now. While I was at uh, New Forest Coy this morning, uh, I bought some more fish as well, and uh, some fish I was looking at. Um, on uh, New Forest Coy's website and uh, anyway Ricky was very kind he found me the relative ones but he wanted to show me some more he felt I think he felt that they were better so he helped me select what he felt was some some better fish than, than what I was looking at and I mean that's that's good isn't it I mean as often as not, a lot of people say, sales, sales, if that's what you want, that's what you get, but Ricky really helps you, and um, I'm really pleased with that. Um, he's online again tonight, um, on Gaz's live channel, so um, hopefully I can get sorted out to uh, watch that and not be too late. Anyway, I got uh, three new fish from him and uh, I'll, uh, I'll turn you around to take a look. They're floating at the moment for um, climatising. They've been there some time, so I'm going to get them in the bowl in a moment. But um, anyway, here we go. So there's two in that bag, and as usual, you can't really see them. And there's one, one in that bag. So I'll get them in the bowl. So uh, here they are. Two kahaku and uh, the Deutsch Matsuba. I think uh, Ricky said it's a, a kai or a hai or. Well, I don't take it from me, but it's a something for other adults, perhaps you, but, uh, but I just like it. Because yeah. um, um, I've always liked shishui, but uh, uh, I wanted a bit of yellow in the pond, so I've got one little fish that's yellow, and uh, now I've got this one. So, uh, yeah. Beautiful. Have a look at that tail in it. Maybe a new natural colour. I might be stressed, but who knows? No, he ain't gonna have it. God, he's a strong fish. I think to measure them, we need a bit of sedate in the water. No, that, I ain't gonna bother with that because he was nearly out. I don't know whether these are a bit more placid. The way Ricky caught them, I'm not sure they are. Oh. A good 25. One of these was more frisky than the other when he was catching them. Well, he's a bit shorter. Ooh, not much. Call that one 23. And this one's even bigger. I reckon that might be 30. If he's from that end, I might get an idea. 
No, you're not 30, but he's uh, 27, I reckon, 28. Yeah, really nice fish. It's so kind of uh, Ricky to sort them out for me. I love this one, it's got like a cancho spot. And uh, plenty of space between these. I don't know, you put it one, two, three, four. Uh, four. Um, stage or not, but this is one, two, a bit there, three, four, that's sort of core and some bits. But that could all change, that could join together. But um, they're nice. That is really sharp too, that um, on the head, really sharp edges to it. Got beautiful skin. So I'm really pleased with them, as I am with the fry as well. So I ain't going to um, keep them any longer. I'm going to release them into my Tosai quarantine tank. So I'll uh, I'll get back to you. Thank you.